How's it going guys? My name is Neil and you're watching the Trail Dad channel. So in this video we're gonna do a real quick 50 hour lower leg service on my RockShox Pike RC and it started to feel a little bit sluggish and it's about time to do that service so uh, let's get started. Alright so these are the items that you need to do the service. You need a 2.5mm and a 5mm allen key or hex wrench. A type of suspension grease, I got this from SRAM. And of course a suspension oil. This is a 0W30 from RockShox and it really depends on the type and year of your fork. So to make sure just go to sram.com service to check the specifics and type of oil that you need. A syringe with plastic tube, a torque wrench, and of course you're going to need the lower leg seals. I'll leave a link to the item on the description below. Some gloves, hammer, isopropyl alcohol and shop towel, and an oil pan. I've got a 2016 Pike fork. The first step is to take off the front wheel and detach the brake calipers from the fork. So when that's out of the way, you can use the Allen key to remove all the air from the fork. On the bottom of the fork, you can remove the rebound dial and make sure to remember your settings before removing this thing. Use a 2.5mm Allen key so you can loosen it up the bolt. Don't take it out, just loosen it up enough so you can pull the dial out. Now you can see two bolts sticking out from the fork. We're going to loosen these using a 5mm Allen key. Don't pull on them yet because we're going to use a hammer to whack those bolts to detach the lower leg from the rods inside. Don't forget to place an oil pan before you work on the fork. Alright, so after you loosen the bolt, um, this is where the hammer comes in. And so what we'll do is basically tap these uh, bolts upwards so um, the rods that connect the upper leg to the lower leg will be come loose. So we'll start doing that. Give it a little tap. Now I had to do this a few times to work, but I've noticed that I needed to loosen the bolts out of the fork almost to the point that they're maybe 90% out. The reason being is um, to get a bigger leverage when you use a hammer. So when you whack it, you need some of the oil, you need to see some of the oil dripping out. And uh, that's a great sign that you're already ready to separate the fork. If at first you try to pull down the fork, um, but it's still stuck, Put back the bolts and try to whack them again with the hammer until you see oil drip out. Make sure to not use the hammer to try and pound the fork arch as this can damage your fork and that's going to be expensive. It took a good amount of pull to remove the lower leg. I would suggest to have a friend maybe to hold the handlebars as you pull uh, the lower legs if they don't come off easy. So now you have the lower leg to work with. Remove the old foam seals with a pick or a paper clip as I did in this video. You can also inspect the wiper seal. That's the hard rubber uh, seal on top of the uh, fork for any damage. I, do have new wiper seals in the kit, so I just decided to use it. To remove it, you can use a ring spanner. It was tough, but it took a little effort, and that thing came flying out of the lower leg. At this point, you can use the isopropyl alcohol to clean the outside and inside of your lower leg and check for any damages. Also, inspect the extensions, uh, check for any scratches or damages that will eventually cause your for it to leak and lose air. Now replace the sag indicator ring with this new one. So instead of soaking the new foam rings with oil, I'm just going to use the syringe to put some oil in it. You can insert the uh, new foam seals and add more oil. Then put some fork grease on the new wiper seals and these are going to sit on top of the new foam rings. All right, so we're just going to put in the uh, wiper seals inside. Just kind of carefully push it in a little bit, slowly, until it's flush. 
Time to place the lower leg back. Make sure to, um, when you push up, that the wiper seals are not bent or folded to prevent any damage to the sanctions and to prevent any leaks. Push it all the way until you feel the bottom of the lower leg hitting the rods. Then pull it down maybe half an inch so you have some space to push the oil in. Check the manual again on the type of oil and how much oil you're going to need to push into the fork. Maneuver the fork upwards and use the syringe and the tube. In my case, I have a Pike 2016 fork and I have to put 10 mil of 0W30 on each leg. On the service kit that I bought, there's a couple of crush washers you can use to replace the washers on these two bolts. So replace the bolts, the silver one on the drive side with the rebound dampening dial on it. Now use your torque wrench to tighten according to the manual spec. Mine uh, says it's 7.3 nanometers, but my torque wrench is not that accurate, so I'll just set it to 7 nanometers. Now reinstall the rebound dial, tighten it to one nanometer. Then you can dial it back to your previous settings. All you have to do now is pump air into the fork to your previous pressure, place the wheel and brake calipers back and you are ready to ride. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned some new cool stuff. I'm excited to let you know that I've ridden Downingville for the first time this week and I'm super stoked to show you guys my ride. Also, I just came back from my Oregon trip and the single tracks there were insanely good. Be sure to stay tuned and um, expect those videos to come out starting next week. Hit that bell button to be notified immediately when my videos are up and hope to see you guys on the next trail.